Okay, that's the lawn sprinkler weather sensor, and it's not positioned properly. This is the roof covering, and if we look over there from the downspout, you can see the, the gap right there. So the water's going to go down the outside of the gap right there. What's interesting is that the drip edge is actually installed over the back of the rain gutter. That's a good thing. And the underlayment is installed over the drip edge, so it cascades down. That is another good thing. These are urban compasses. I mean, satellite dishes. They always point south. This part of the country. This part of the world. And we come down here, and um, but we see see all the pookie because they just couldn't get it to quit leaking. Do you think that's going to dry? I do. Dry, crack, sealed, need to be redone? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I think. It's not over yet. It's an ongoing maintenance issue. There's supposed to be brackets, jigs, if you will. You know, mounting brackets for these things. The only place I've ever seen those brackets was in the um, uh, illustration that I got in the class that I went to. So... You'll never see one in the wild. This is the way they. This is how, this is cable company installation at its best. Coming along here, this roof is about seven years old. They last about 14. They last about 14 because you can see it's starting to give up some stuff. Might be like some little bit of latent hail damage right in there. Uh, but overall, this installation. This is the last roof video. Uh, I'm going to have three. I'm going to go around with a camera pole. That'll be the second one. The first one was in the courtyard. But I just want to get up close to it. I want to touch it. I wanted to feel it. I wanted to see what it was like. 